Okay, so uh, we have a Persia mirror here. A, a is 11, as the blue Persians on the top right side. Lemmings uh, 1 to 1, as the red Persians, uh, bottom left side. Uh, this map is Arabia. is It's uh, the biggest map in the game, I think. Maybe, maybe uh, Big Island comes close, but this is probably the biggest land map in the game. So Lemmings opened on berries, which is totally fine on this map. That's what I always do as well. But A's found his haunt and is now gonna haunt with four villagers. Let's see, he's a uh, food capped. Oh, never mind. Now he's gonna resume villager production. Okay. So, uh, Lemmings opened berries and he did get the uh, berry upgrade already. That's very good. So, on this map, uh, um, what usually happens is players just go for a very greedy build and get second TCs going and then an early market line and then just get a huge economy and then just. Uh, spam units and uh, just go at each other but it doesn't look like Ace is a big fan of doing stuff like that he's gonna go for an early barracks once again and Lemmings already scouted this so let's see how he reacts to that he uh, did he cancelled his stone gathering operations but I don't know if he wants to take a barracks. Oh yeah, he is. Okay, so this is the thing with Persian mirrors. Since both both units, I mean both civilizations, have access to spar bar only in uh, in age one, and spar bar do very low damage. Like they have the lowest amount of damage in all age one units. So spar bar versus spar bar fights are usually very uh, like stale and take so long. Uh, and I'm not sure if uh, if you even have to get a a spar. I mean, a barracks for a spar bar defense in this map. If it was up to me, I would probably uh, go H2 and get uh, some get some asbar out. Oh, whoops! Let me fix the. Uh, Scores. Yeah, as I was saying, you could just go with uh, Asabar because if you look here, uh, Sparabar do only 9 DPS and Asabar do 20 DPS. Uh, so if your opponent stays uh, age 1 for a long time and he doesn't make Spearmen, because Persian Spearmen are only available in age 2. You can just get fast as the bar and kill those bar bar and then just get map control. But one thing that's very important for Persians is a tent. This upgrade is available in age one and it allows all storehouses to heal at 10 health per second. So when you have a tent, you basically don't need anything to survive the first bar bar because it actually does minus one DPS since it does 9 DPS and the storehouse heals for 10 so it's technically minus 1 DPS now Ace got really lucky with his uh, storehouse here so he has access to both berries and his stone mine but he didn't get the uh, the picker's gloves upgrade and that's really huge he really needs to take that upgrade as soon as possible now Lemmings did a cleaner build here compared to A's because not only does he have his spar bar out but he also oh wait that, okay I take that statement back because I thought A's doesn't have a TC but apparently he does now the, the point I mentioned earlier now comes into play this the, the low DPS on these units makes it hard for them to stop this TC so what he should have done here was to attack the villagers instead of the, the the town center to harass them because even though these far bar never died to the TC fire they lack the DPS to stop it from being built by five villagers now both of these guys took a very forward place for their town center and I'm not sure if that's a good decision especially this one because 
I'm not really sure what this town center is covering. Uh, at least this one, I guess, covers the haunted stone. I mean, this one isn't really the best either, but I guess since he already had this forward barracks, he just wants to uh, build very like aggressively. Now, this is the correct approach. Lemmings started with the barracks, but now he's switching to stables, which is a good idea because you want to take map control, while at the same time, A has decided to uh, uh, build an archery range, so in a sense, Lemmings blind countered his opponent's build because Asabara wreck Bowman while Bowman do almost no damage to Asabara because not only do Asabara have uh, pierce armor and bonus against Bowman but also Bowman do not have any multipliers against cavalry so they're like literally the worst unit you could make against Asabara with Persia now Ace is finally getting his uh, pictures glove upgrade no wood upgrade yet. He has nine on gold. I'm not sure if that's very necessary with the setup he's going for, because bowmen are really cheap on gold, and if if he wants to make spara bar, they're also ten gold only. So, oops. Okay. Uh, let's see. Thirty-two villagers for A's, twenty-eight villagers for Lemming. So, not sure how that happened. He is four villagers behind, but if he manages to distract A's long enough to uh, make him skip a few villager cycles, and he also doesn't drop his own villager cycles, he's going to be uh, potentially ahead in a couple of minutes. Now, let's see what the, these guys have seen from the other player. Okay, A's has no idea about what Lemmings is doing. He doesn't even know there's a town center here, but he's starting to wall this up. Oh, and this is actually, this is funny, this is the uh, AOE3 style of walling when where you delete these like connecting sectors of the wall. I've never seen anything like this happen in Age of Empires Online. That's pretty funny. Okay, and for Lemmings, oh, actually let's go to the All Vision for now. Uh, that means should, re should really pull these villagers back inside the PC really soon. Okay, good, he does that. Yeah, okay. So, Lemmings has this random force of Sparabara, Spearman, and Asabara going from the side of the map into the Aces, into Aces, uh, base. Well, the only standing force for A's here is this small little army, and then these four four units. Apart from that, I don't think he has any defense back home. Uh oh, he now sees it. He's making two more barracks. Uh, I mean, this this approach would be good on smaller maps. I would understand if you want to go for infantry and archers, but on bigger maps, I think it's better to get cavalry to get map control. Oh, and Ace is now going Ace 3. Now, I'm not sure what he's gonna get out of that. Maybe he wants to take some Immortals, I guess? I mean, with his current uh, setup, I don't see a lot of other choices to come back from fighting this army. Because Immortals are good against everything in this army, even the Asabara. Yeah, and this is gonna be a little rough for Ace to defend, but. These Asabara aren't attacking the archers, and these Farabara lack the damage. Yeah, now he, he's gonna come here and he's gonna attack the bowmen. See how fast these bowmen die to the Asabara. Yeah, there you go. One, two, two shots. Yeah, but Aza has defender's advantage. Let's see if he's queuing up units. He is not. Only from his uh, archery range. Oh, this is gonna be a little rough. I mean. Once he hits H3, this town center is going to be stronger and he's going to do more damage to these units, but as you can see, all of these units have lots of pierced armor, so TC fire isn't doing much against them. 44 villagers for A's, 44 lemmings, so I think this is something that he should be working on, keeping up production on villagers, because if A's somehow stabilizes from this position, 
he's ahead in the economy technically. He has more villagers even now. 47 to 41. Lemmings is only producing for one TC. This TC is idle. While Age is making his third TC. So this is good uh, like pressure reaction by Age here. He did not panic too much. He's still making correct decisions. He's remaking his wood storehouse. He's putting villagers to gold. And he's only 5 pop behind after all that damage, so he's not out of this game by any means. If he gets a few more military buildings and uh, gets the correct units, I think he can come back from this. As you can see, already 700 wood invested into farms for lemmings. Well, he has berries and none of these guys has scouted any part of this, the other side of their plateau, so... Well, I guess this is okay for now, but maybe for their future games they, they could work on this. As you can see, Aze is uh, prioritizing villager production over everything, whereas uh, Lemmings is making uh, units first and then villagers. So he has 48 villagers now compared to the 56 of Aze, and he's going to be even more behind as time passes. As you can see, his Q. All military military build uh, units, no villagers. While here, Aze is constantly making villagers from three TCs, which is the right way to do things in AOEO. Okay, I was just reading the chat. Now. 60 villagers to 48 so from this point I, I would say that from this point onward Lemmings is behind let's check his infrastructure two archer ranges two barracks one stable while Ace has two barracks one stable one archer range so fairly similar setup uh, oh he's now making uh, an immortal camp a barracks and armory this is good. The immortals are good. I mean, look at uh, Lemmings' army. Apart from the the bowmen here, none of these units really counter uh, immortals. While well, immortals do well against all of these units, even the bowmen. I mean, if there's any kind of meat line in front of the immortals, they're gonna do well against bowmen too. Now. Ace needs to be careful with this push because he is uh, 20 pop behind almost and this push is the one that determines if Lemmings is going to be ahead in this game or not because if Ace can hold this he's going to be fine let's see he's right clicking on the TC Ace is going to come here keep in mind Lemmings has only just now gotten his third TC so it's not too bad for Ace to lose this TC if it means that he's gonna win this fight. Let's see. Good micro by Lemmings, putting the Spearman in front of the Asabara. These Takabara are gonna kill these mounted archers and the bowmen. Oh, uh, but this. Uh, actually, I don't know. This is. I think this is gonna snowball out of control. Yeah these reinforcements for lemmings are just a little too much oh look at this derpy having this TC is still not dead Ace is still holding on but I don't know man this is looking rough yeah he lost his TC now now he is pop cap so he needs to either remake his TC or make a lot of houses really fast 78 villagers to 57 so if only Ace just hangs on here and don't doesn't engage this army and if Lemmings makes the mistake of just sitting here and not actually engaging Lemmings I mean Ace can uh, muster up a force and then try to come back from this but I don't think Lemmings is gonna make that mistake he's still rallying in and while these upgrades for A's are really nice, but the sheer number advantage for Lemmings at this point is just too much. 
Yeah. 160 pop to 90 and 70 of that is villagers, so he's actually only 16 village uh, 16 pop in military and this looks really rough for A's. Um I don't know, let's see, Takabara, Immortals. Yeah, the thing is, most of this army is pierce damage, I mean ranged units actually. And with ranged units, you really don't want to trickle in, because they will just kill you before you even reach them. But, Lemmings is smartly sitting inside Aze's production and doesn't let him to uh, make a, an army before engaging. Now, if he actually built some towers here. This is helping him defend, but I'm not sure for how long. I will say though that Ace has really good uh, reactions to pressure. So even though he's losing the game, he's not forgetting to get his upgrades. But this is just uh, too many units for him to handle. As you can see, uh, Lemmings built a lot of production facilities and he's making five Asavar at a time and he's just gonna trickle in more and more units while sitting inside the production of A's he is 80 pop ahead and he's now ahead in villagers by 21 so A's doesn't even have his economic advantage anymore Let's check the economy upgrades. Oh my god, this is terrible. Ace doesn't even have the H2 wood upgrade, while Lemmings has almost all upgrades. All the essential ones anyway, except the uh, 8 tent. Oh, there we have it. GG. That was nice early pressure by Lemmings, I mean by Ace, but in the end, Lemmings managed to uh, survive and eventually win let's check the stats so let's see they were pretty close uh, in terms of resources gathered as you can see in the end Lemmings managed to come ahead but that was because uh, Ace was down in villagers in the last couple of minutes let's see the other uh, graphs current villager population as you can see he was ahead since minute four or five he just uh, did a better job at constantly producing villagers but it was at this point this is where Ace uh, lost his uh, defensive line at the TC and then he just started to uh, lose units and villagers here and there and text wise it was pretty close 12 to 16 Ace had better armory he had a couple of upgrades uh, and Lemmings actually had two upgrades and Ace had upgrade as well okay so never mind on the armory but this is really big the wood upgrade is probably the most important one to get an H2 because it lets you get more infrastructure yeah this was kind of a chaotic game overall alright so let me uh, update the score I'm going to contact Cure and see if he's ready for a series.
Okay.